Hello everyone. In the prior session, we discussed how to account for the cost of an asset, specifically property, plant, and equipment. Also in the prior sessions, we looked at how to allocate the cost over the useful life of the asset, which was the depreciation expense. In this session, we will discuss how the company account for subsequent expenditure. After they buy the asset, they spend money. When they spend money on this asset later, how do they account for this expenditure? This is our topic for today. So whenever a company spends money, it must decide whether to expense or capitalize the expenditure. And this choice affects how the expenditure is reported on the financial statements and influence the overall financial position of the company. Because if we expense an expenditure, it will reduce our net income. If we treat it as an asset, it will stay on the balance sheet and gradually reduce net income through depreciation. Generally speaking, expenditure are categorized into two main categories, and this is what we will discuss in this session. Ordinary repairs, which are routine maintenance activities that keep the asset in good working condition without significantly increasing its value or extending its useful life. Those expenditure we are going to expense, and the other category is betterment and extraordinary repairs. These expenditure go beyond routine maintenance. So think about repair, just repair and routine maintenance to keep the asset in good, in good working position. When we talk about extraordinary repair or betterment, these expenditure improve the asset efficiency, that's one, and extend its useful life or add substantial value. Any of those will consider a betterment or extraordinary repair. Why? Because the assumption is those expenditure, they have a long-term benefits, in quote, an asset, an asset value. They are usually capitalized. And we, when we say capitalized, once again, treating the expenditure as an asset rather as an expense, then expense it later through depreciation. So in this session specifically, we will explore the differences between these two categories and discuss how to identify and account for each type of expenditure separately. At the end, we would look at a multiple choice question from Farhat Lectures to reinforce the concept. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Our financial accounting course is best for online students and students who are struggling in their financial accounting courses. We cover all the essentials from debits and credits, adjusting entries, closing entries, financial statements, and all balance sheet accounts. Our comprehensive course include lectures, multiple choice, true-false, as well as practical exercises. Start your free trial today to help you pass your financial accounting course. Your success starts here. Starting with ordinary repairs, those are revenue expenditure. They refer to costs spent on asset or services that are used in the immediate period. Now, I can give you the most simplest example is when you fill your car with gas. What's gonna happen is this. You are maintaining the car because without gas, you cannot run the car. Well, that's considered ordinary repair or maintenance. Ordinary repair or maintenance maintain the asset's current operating condition, but they don't improve its capacity or extends its life. You need gas to run your car. They are recorded as expenses in the income statement and they affect your net income now. Why? Because you are expensing them. It, they're quickly consumed and they don't provide any future economic benefit because if they do, they will be treated as an asset. That's why we treat ordinary repairs and maintenance as an expense. Like for example, if you do an oil change, tune up or replacing a battery in your car, all what you're doing is maintaining the operating condition of your car, of your vehicle. Therefore, it gets expensed, it's not an asset. Capital expenditure, when do we capitalize? When, when do we consider the capital expenditure? Those are investments made to acquire or improve long-term asset that will benefit the company for multiple period. Multiple period means in the future, they will provide future benefit. Let me give you an example. Let's assume we purchase this truck without the lift, just the truck separately. Then we invested, you know, $15,000 to add this lift. 
Well, guess what? This lift improves the productive capacity of that truck. So the lift, it's, it will serve you. So the owner of this truck will use the, this truck in this lift for several years, maybe 10, maybe 15 years. Well, that's an asset. That's a capital expenditure versus the owner of this truck replacing the oil. That's different. That You need it to maintain the truck in operating condition. So betterments and extraordinary repairs. I would say this is betterment. Enhances the asset value or extends its life. Enhan enhances the asset or increase its productivity. Of course, with the lift, the truck is more productive. Now, the other thing you want to know about the difference between capital expenditure and non-capital expenditure, capital expenditure usually are non-reoccurring. So they don't reoccur like changing the oil, like filling your car with gasoline or tune-up. So if you, if you install a lift on the truck to carry more goods, this enhances its capacity. It's a non-reoccurring versus this expenditure, a tune-up, an oil change, replacing a battery, those are reoccurring. So capital expenditure are treated as assets, recorded as assets. So when you record them, you debit an asset. Then you gradually, as we learned about depreciation, you have an asset. Then what's going to happen, you are going to depreciate them through depreciation expense. So this asset will get consumed through depreciation expense over its useful life. Now, bear in mind, as I what, what I mentioned in the beginning, that's this is not an easy task in the real world. In practice, deciding whether something is an expense or an asset involves judgment. So what companies would do oftentimes is to have policies to simplify things. So for example, they would say, we're going to expense all items below a certain amount. For example, all items below $5,000. That's it. It doesn't matter what it is. We follow this policy. Now for certain companies, depending how large is the company. And this this helps avoid administrative burden and assessing each expenditure. Now, again, this number could be 1,000, could be 500, but you have to be consistent. Now, it's important to note here what's the incentive for the business. It's the incentive for the business to classify expenditure in a way that either maximize reported profit or minimize taxes, depending on their financial strategy. For example, for tax purposes, so if the company thinking from a tax perspective, what do they want to do? From a tax perspective, they always wanted to treat it as an expense. Why? Because it reduces their taxes. It reduces their taxable income. For financial accounting purposes, for GAAP, they want to treat it as an asset. Why? Because an asset, not an expense, an asset will keep their profit higher because they want to show that they are more profitable. So notice, depending on what your incentive is, so let's take a look at an example to see exactly how this works from a journal entry perspective. The company paid $40,000 to replace a motor on equipment that extends its useful life by four years. So what do you think this 40,000, how, how this, how this 40,000 should be treated as an expenditure, uh, as an expense or as a capital expenditure? Is it an expense or an asset? So simply put this $40,000 expense, or an asset and the answer is it's extend the useful life it's an expenditure capital expenditure so you increase the equipment and you reduce cash let's assume you paid $200 cash and notice we don't buy expenditure on a regular basis so the transaction is non reoccurring so we paid $200 cash per truck for the cost of their annual tune-up what do you think this will be well I would say this is a revenue expenditure or an expense we debit rev repairs and maintenance expense and we credit cash and remember this is an annual tune-up so we do this on a regular basis some companies do a tune-up less than a year so it's something that's reoccurring it does not extend the useful life of the asset it maintains its current operating condition let's take a look at a multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com abc manufacturing company recently purchased a new piece of equipment for fifty thousand. they also spent five thousand on routine maintenance for their existing equipment during the year how should abc manufacturing classify the five thousand spent on maintenance so obviously the fifty thousand is a is a capital expenditure it's an asset how about the five thousand routine maintenance routine means we need it to keep the asset working properly. 
what does that mean? It means it's a revenue expenditure. It means we treat this as an expense. And the answer is B. And the, the word routine kind of gave the answer away. Routine means reoccurring. Reoccurring means it's something that you don't do every once in a while. You do on a regular basis. And because you do that, it's not really providing future benefit. If something provides future benefit, you don't keep on renewing it or at least not in the short term. Therefore, it's a revenue expenditure, not a capital expenditure for the 5,000. What should you do? Now you want to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional resources, multiple choice lectures, maybe exercises that's going to help you, whether you are a financial accounting student, a CPA candidate, CMA candidate, invest in yourself. Good luck and stay safe.